Welcome to the only daily podcast focusing on compliance news of the day. Each morning, start your day with a cup of coffee and Tom Fox, the voice of compliance, to hear about four of the top compliance, corruption, or leadership stories you will need to start your day. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network. First, a word from our sponsor. The Daily Compliance News for May 10, 2022. The, did the UK government approve bribes edition? And we begin with that story from Bloomberg, who reports that two UK nationals, Jeffrey Cook and John Mason, who paid nearly $12 million in bribes on behalf of Airbus to win government contracts, with Saudi Arabia have claimed as their defense that the bribes were approved in writing by uh, the UK government at the time. The defense lawyer said the payments were made under a legal contract that was signed off by senior officials at the Ministry of Defense, and therefore the UK government specifically authorized the bribe and authorized um, the illegal conduct. So, um, This is certainly an interesting twist, uh, whether there actually is such a document, of course, is yet to be seen, but the uh, government, uh, of course, says that uh, Airbus was corrupt, and um, it's going to be interesting to see how all of this plays out. Let's hope the serious fraud office um, doesn't get yet another black eye. Next up, from... The Wall Street Journal Risk and Compliance Journal, Richard Vandefort reporting, uh, the UK war, or Ukraine war rather, has driven an interest in a very niche type of insurance, which is uh, China-Taiwan insurance. Uh, Companies are increasingly concerned about a potential conflict between China and Taiwan and began to express interest in insuring their operations in both places against potential violence and, and um, disruptions. So with what's recently happened in the Ukraine, this very niche type of insurance uh, may be back in four. Next up from Reuters, the Securities and Exchange Commission has extended the comment period for climate risks disclosures until June 17th. Gary Gensler said there was significant interest from a wide range of groups, including investors in issuers, market participants, and other stakeholders. Prominent Republicans, of course, have claimed this is overstepping by the SEC, but the SEC clearly uh, will move forward in some way, and indeed the market has demanded that the SEC uh, issue regulations. And finally, from the Washington Post, the White House is concerned that a Commerce Department probe is smothering the U.S. solar industry. Top climate officials in the Biden administration are warning that a federal investigation into alleged dodging of tariffs by Chinese suppliers has put the domestic solar industry in peril. So uh, we have uh, U.S. companies uh, perhaps engaging in illegal conduct, federal government uh, investigating, perhaps enforcing laws on that, and that negatively impacting the White House's (coughs) overall strategy to reduce greenhouse gases, and the carbon footprint of the nation. Very interesting indeed. The Daily Compliance News is a production of the Compliance Podcast Network and a proud member of C-Suite Radio. Thanks so much for listening. I hope you'll join me again tomorrow. This podcast is a part of the C-Suite Radio Network. For more top business podcasts, visit c-suiteradio.com. Dot